In recent news, Floyd Mayweather just added a Miami Beach mansion to his real estate portfolio and the man, he's called money for a reason. He spent $18 million on a 9 bedroom mega mansion with plenty of clean white marble and features like an infinity pool. The big spender also owns a $10 million Las Vegas mansion and a $26 million estate in California and today we're going to take a look at where Floyd calls home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is a boxing promoter and former professional boxer, having competed between 1996 and 2015 and winning a ton of major championships. Floyd is one of the greatest boxers of all time and his success in the ring has garnered him a ton of wealth over the years. His estimated net worth is at about $450 million, while he's earned over $1.1 billion throughout his career, making him the richest boxer of all time. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one, checking out where Floyd Mayweather calls home, including his brand new Miami mansion. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new content daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram if you'd like. And now let's get into this video. Just last month, it was reported that Floyd treated himself to a new mansion in Miami Beach and this waterfront home is stunning to say the least. The purchase cost him $18 million and it comes about a year after selling his other place in Miami which was a box shaped abode a few miles north in La Gorse. The boxing legend's new spot is located on Palm Island, a man-made island on Biscayne Bay. The sleek abode covers three stories and offers almost 11,000 square feet of space throughout with 9 beds and 10.5 baths. As you might expect from a mansion in a prime location as this one, there's indoor outdoor living throughout as well as an open floor plan along with a 5,000 square foot rooftop deck to really soak in the surroundings. Of course, up here you get views of the water and the city skyline. Decks line the top two levels of Floyd's new home and these overlook a gorgeous ground level patio with pool, spa and of course a private dock with room for a 100 foot boat. Walking in, there's a sprawling entryway with double height ceilings decked out in white marble as well as a curved staircase leading upstairs. The kitchen continues with the white theme and it seems everything from the bar style seating to the center island all follow a similar color scheme, aside from the stainless steel appliances that is. Nearby, there are more entertainment rooms, including living rooms that open to the terrace outside, formal dining rooms, and more. Aside from the sweeping staircase, there's also an elevator to get around the digs. Bonus features in Floyd's new Miami Beach retreat include a movie theater, a home gym, and a games room. Not to mention his master suite boasts hardwood floors, a ton of floor space, a spa style bathroom, and doors to a sunny balcony. As I noted, the outdoor space at Floyd's crib has a modern pool, spa, stone terrace, and everything in between. The 0.32 acre property is complete with four garages and a driveway with room for more than six cars. Let's not forget about Floyd aka Money's other estates. In 2018, he shelled out $10 million on his Las Vegas mansion, which sits on 1.4 acres of land in the fully gated and exclusive community of Queens Ridge, Las Vegas, only a short drive from the busy strip. This newly built palace spans 22,000 square feet with 11 beds, 14 baths, and features like two extra guest houses on the property. A column lined port cocher marks the entry to the main home, looking more like you're arriving at one of the luxury Vegas resorts than a single family home. Inside the estate boasts a ton of marble heated floors, double height ceilings, and even an elevator. The spacious kitchen is all marble with pricey and top tier appliances, so Floyd's chef can cook up anything the former boxer desires. Although Floyd has kept a lot of the interior of his Vegas mansion private, he did show off his 600 square foot walk-in closet, which he made to look like a luxury department store. The man has an impressive collection of accessories and clothing, even with some million dollar watches, but his most prized possessions are his six winning belts that are also on display here. Other features throughout the Vegas home include a wine cellar, home gym, marble lined indoor pool and a spa that even have a built in current to swim in. Outside, Floyd's got an outdoor fountain style pool, pool house, multiple terraces and covered patios, 
courtyards, and even vineyards. Finally, since we know the boxing legend adores his car collection as well, there are two detached garages and a 30 car subterranean garage which he's shown off in his videos. While those two mansions would be more than enough for any human being, it's simply not enough for Floyd Money Mayweather because he has yet another impressive property in Beverly Hills. In 2017, he dropped $25.5 million on a home just steps away from the famous Beverly Hills Hotel in one of the most elite Los Angeles locations. The French modern abode was originally built in 1992 but extensively renovated in 2015, first being listed at 38 mil. Although Floyd got a discount on the price, he reportedly dropped an extra 500k for all the expensive furnishings. The grounds span just over half an acre of land and the main house offers 15,000 square feet inside with 6 beds and 10 baths. The two level mansion is full of high style and state of the art technology throughout as well as mirrored wall fireplaces, chandeliers and other luxury finishings. The open floor plan on the main level of Floyd's Beverly Hills home is full of large spaces for entertaining, like the formal living room with 10 sets of French doors to the yard. Elsewhere, there's a gourmet kitchen imported from Italy, a cozy den with a cocktail bar and wine cellar, a dining room with fireplace, and an all-black library. The owner's suite here pulls no punches with features like walk-in wardrobes fitted with the finest Italian cabinetry. The attached bath has not one, but two double bathtubs, leading to a large private terrace overlooking the yard. The detached guest house has even more to offer, like a home gym, a staff suite, a four car garage, and 20 person movie theater. Not to mention, like any good cinema, the one at Floyd's house comes with a candy shop, perfect for his sweet tooth. The yard has a unique black and white striped marble deck around the swimming pool to make things chic, as well as an outdoor lounge area with fireplace and more. Well now we've checked out not one, but three of Floyd Money Mayweather's homes and I can see why they call him that. We checked out his most recent purchase he snagged last month for $18 million in Miami, as well as his mansions in Vegas and LA. Out of the three stunners, which was your favorite? For me, I like the chic style of his Beverly Hills place the best, and I would feel like a queen walking to the Beverly Hills Hotel Polo Lounge for brunch anytime I wanted. Talk about prime location. His Florida home was also about the location because who wouldn't want a beautiful modern mansion like that right on the water? However, Las Vegas is my favorite city out of those three spots. How's a girl to choose? Floyd's lucky enough that he doesn't have to. Be sure to let me know your fave of Floyd's homes down in the comments or even go ahead and write all of those luxury features. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.